Hello, this is Christina from the Mahara Project in Wellington. Lisa asked me to give you a brief overview of Smart Evidence, um, since a number of you will now have already upgraded to a version of Mahara that includes this competency framework functionality or are in the process of upgrading to it. So what I'll like to do in the next few minutes is just run you through that functionality and give you an overview of how it works. So first, of course, you would need to activate Smart Evidence in your Mahara instance. And uh, there are a few steps that you would need to go through by being a site administrator. Namely, first, make sure that the annotation X, uh, plugin is visible so that you see the hide button and also that you have a Smart Evidence framework installed on your Mahara instance. Mahara does come with two built-in frameworks um, to illustrate the functionality and make it easy for you to um, get started with it. But we have a number of other frameworks available for you for download um, that you can easily access from the user manual and um, get to it in order to download any of the ones that we have already created. And you are very welcome to send your own framework files to me for inclusion. So once you have a framework uploaded, you then need to make sure that the institution in which you want to use Smart Evidence does have it um, activated in the institution settings. So that is then all the way at the bottom of an institution. Flip the switch to yes, where it says allow Smart Evidence and you are done. Now your students can work with Smart Evidence. And very simply so, by being in their portfolio area, and then when they already have a collection, they can go to edit, and there at the bottom is Smart Evidence Framework, if it has been allowed in the institution in which they are a member of, and then they can select the Smart Evidence Framework that is visible to them. They can do that for an existing collection, or they can also set up a new collection and then um, associate the framework right from the start. Also, when you add more pages to a collection, will they automatically become part of, the, um, part of that Smart Evidence collection, and they will be visible in the um, evidence map that you see here. So this is the Smart Evidence Overview page. And in there, you see all the pages that make up this collection. And then you see the framework itself with the standards and substandards in there. Now we decided to um, not just have the numbers or short words, um, short phrases available in the framework, but really enhance it for online work. And that means by hovering over it, um, you can see the full description and also the full title of each standard, making it very easy for your students to know what they want to associate a particular portfolio page with when they select a framework. So they don't need to log in a PDF file or a printout in order to know what the criteria are that they need to meet. And so what they can then easily do if they decide um, that one of their portfolio pages meets a particular standard, that they can go to this portfolio page and then select the standard, click the dot, and then provide an annotation. And the annotation in a way is a meta reflection on the entire portfolio page that is there um, because the standard then applies to the entire page. That is how Smart Evidence is currently implemented. And so that the students can see uh, very easily also what they are again reflecting on. The standard is selected for them and also the description of the standard is displayed. They click Save and then a circle appears, letting them know that they have associated their page with a particular standard. So in this case, it would say ready for assessment. Now, all the terminology that you see here, ready for assessment or the other um, assessed standards meets the criterion, doesn't meet the criterion and so on, are defined directly in your Smart Evidence file so that you can also create Smart Evidence files that are in a different language 
without always having to have um, English there. Now, if an assessor is to assess my portfolio um, using the framework, then they first need to have um, staff or admin permissions on the site. And as usual, the student would need to have shared their portfolio with them in order for them to see it. So now I'm switching to my assessor, who incidentally is also the site administrator, but certainly doesn't have to be. And I go and view the education portfolio namely the portfolio that um, Patty has created. And so I see exactly the same thing that the student sees, namely the um, evidence map and then also the individual pages that are part of this uh, Smart Evidence Collection. And I can see um, the already assessed standards. If one standard has already been met, there's a number one or two showing there, indicating what has uh, how many um, evidence how much evidence there is for a particular standard or if the standard hasn't been assessed yet I see the circle for ready for assessment. Then I can go into the page itself, view the evidence and also um, assess the end um, assess the um, the reflection of the student for the standard there or if I want to do it all in one go once I have looked at the portfolio I can also do that directly here from the map simply by clicking the circle icon. Then I see the annotation that the student has left and I can make my assessment as well as provide feedback. And I can also go back in. So for example, I gave assessment but I forgot the feedback. Um, and then be a bit more explicit and let the student know um, where they might still need some work. I can make that feedback public or not public, but the assessment will al always be shown. And you'll see the log of what the assessor has said and also the assessment itself. Alternatively, as briefly mentioned, I can go into a page itself and viewing that can leave my feedback on the annotations directly on that page and change the assessment or give feedback and then add that to the portfolio. And that's smart evidence in a very short um, demonstration. There are a few more things that we could certainly discuss, but uh, due to the lack of time and um, also not the possibility of me talking with you directly, I would leave it here and hand it over back to Lisa and her team because then you can get started on discussions or also um, share your experiences already if you have used Smart Evidence before. Have a nice rest of the Mahara Ireland user group meeting.